Hello everyone, this is Joanna from Joanna the Medium. Um, these are going to be messages for the month of August. Sorry about being late. Um, as I mentioned last month, um, I was really busy, then I had to go away for a few days and I just couldn't get a chance to, or didn't get a chance to record videos. Came back to um, extremely busy uh, schedule already, so um, they are coming in fact a little bit late. Um, but thank you so much for waiting and I hope um, you will like them. Um, because they were late, I kind of thought maybe I should do something different or maybe I should make them shorter. And I actually got um, a very strong feeling from Spirit that I should try something different for the sake of cutting some time. Well, turns out that uh, the readings are actually longer. It's the setup that's slightly different. Um, so what I was asked to do is do more of a channeled message, not using cards and use fewer cards. And I actually thought it was going to be a shorter reading, but it turns out some, that in most, most, more cases, it's actually longer than the ones I've done in the past. So uh, lots of different energies I'm working with, um, three quarters, half to three quarters of the entire reading is me channeling information um, based on what I'm being told and seeing, uh, which is a little bit different for me in this particular setup because um, I'm not even using any cards at that point. So some of it is very, very specific. Some of it is more general. Uh, some energies are different than others. Some are stronger. Some are more strange than others. So it is a very uh, different um, set of readings for August, for sure. Um, as always, it is a uh, uh, general these are general readings so it may make sense to you some of it uh, certainly for all of you it won't make sense to you for some of you it may for a majority of you some parts make may make sense to you some won't um, please check out rising sign moon sign as well as your sun sign as these may offer a more complete picture of what's happening in your life if you would like a private reading please contact me with the information below and we can set up a private session so that you can understand exactly what this is pertaining um, for you um, i cannot answer questions um, through uh, emails pertaining to general reading. Sometimes I'll get a message saying, you know, what does this mean to me? Uh, without actually having a one on one session, it is impossible for me to do that. And I cannot answer each and every email because I get literally hundreds of emails, which is why I can't always respond to all of them. Um, so if you would want um, more information particularly connecting to you or relating to you um, you might want to have a private session and you can just uh, reach me at the information below um, if these readings don't make sense to you this time around that's perfectly okay sometimes they do sometimes they don't uh, please do let me know if you like the new format as I feel it's here to stay at least until the next change um, I think I mentioned in some of my earlier videos that I feel I will need to be doing more channeling. So, you know, I hope you like it. Um, I actually found it a little bit easier um, not looking at cards and just giving information that's coming to me. And that's really how I work with one on one um, clients. Um, trying to see if there's anything else that I want to say uh, other than I always want you to know how grateful I am for. Uh, you listening, uh, viewing, liking, sharing, it means a lot to me. Um, I just posted a video on um, 10,000 subscribers, thank you offer. Um, this was my goal for the end of 2016. So the fact that it's already reached um, 10,000 at the end of July is um, amazing to me. And that's obviously thanks to you. And I always wanna say thank you so much because Without you, I there's no need for me to do this. So without further ado, I hope you like uh, the readings. Let me know uh, how it resonates with you and um, let's get going. I'll see you in a moment. Hello and welcome back. This is going to be a reading for the sign of cancer. I am going to uh, tune in and see what messages we start off with. Um, the cards are um, face down, so I don't know where they are. So just give me one second.
And the moment I tune in, I see the number five. And when I ask what the number five represents, he says to me, changes. These are for the most part positive changes. However, I am feeling that there is a resistance on your part. I'm also feeling that there is, um, for some of you, certainly not all of you, some kind of hurdle that you will need to overcome with regards to finances or money. And I also hear the words property or selling of property. I also am feel I'm being pointed down um, and I hear the word lower price. So um, I'm not going to interpret what that means for you. Uh, actually, yes, I am, because that's what I do. Um, for some of you, there is a possibility where you may look at lowering, lowering your price slightly. I'm seeing the number four um, with regards to some kind of sale sale of property, um, whether it's a building, I'm also seeing a motorcycle, it could be a car, anything to do with what you possess and you are trying to sell or are willing to let it go, okay? And when I ask why you are doing this, I hear they need the money. Okay, I also hear financial struggles. So for some of you, um, I actually see for some of you, you're taking off your jewelry and you are selling your jewelry. So this is not a prediction that you will be struggling. This is something that is already happening and you are already in the process of either doing or contemplating. So please do not um, shoot the messenger, so to speak. I can, I only give you what I get. I don't predict, you know that I don't predict. I have, I don't have these abilities as Joanna. Those of you who are looking at either selling or purchasing a home, for those of you who are purchasing, you will either have to shell out a little bit more money, or for those of you who are selling, you might have to lower the price a little bit. And I don't know how that works with regards to real estate market, because I don't know anything about real estate. And it could actually be from different parts of the country where real estate will be different in, from province to province or from state to state. This is nothing for you to worry about. I'm also hearing this is very short term and temporary, but it will be enough to act as a band aid. So um, financially, so there is that de there's definitely a feel of some financial struggle uh, at this time where you will have to make some smallish sacrifices that you would rather not, but they're not going to kill you okay or completely devastate you so this is nothing um big and he's saying to me it's like a drop in the ocean at the end of the day um it's not going to make you suffer okay now for some of you this is to do with health and some kind of a condition that you've been dealing with for years and I also see the number eight. So for some of you, maybe since you were eight or for eight years or seven or eight years. And he is saying to me that you will have to make some sacrifices with regards to your lifestyle. I also hear the word diet and I hear the word zinc and supplements. Um, Obviously, I'm not giving you um, medical advice. I have no ability to do that. But if this makes sense to you, research, research, and then research some more. I also hear the words healthy bones, and then I hear vitamin C. Um, so for some of you, you 
you're dealing with maybe osteoporosis or something and uh, it's, it's almost like I'm, I'm seeing bones and I'm some you're, you're taking something and it's a supplement that kind of plugs these holes so I don't know what that means but it would be a supplement that would rebuild uh, the either the cartilage or the calcium in your bones and I hear that this would be most likely doctor prescribed or through some kind of a health professional uh, it could be over the counter but this would be as an advice of somebody who knows what they're talking about so um, supplements I guess you can get over the counter but uh, research I feel like somebody's going to give you advice or look into getting some advice with regards to bone health bone structure okay so that's for some of you certainly not all of you um also i'm seeing the letter m as a name it could be mary it could be letter m in the first name somewhere and this message particularly pertains to someone with the letter m in their mayor in, in their name in their name uh, both male and female I will be honest I'm strongly pulled towards female but certainly this also goes for males too not as many numbers and I'm getting a nod on that as well I'm also being asked to say patience with your health patience with your health and whoever this is for I feel you're very frustrated you're shaking your head it's like ah oh, when is this gonna end um, I also hear the word relax And I also hear stress is a major part of your problem, okay? Your health issue. I'm also being, um, uh, um, what's the word please? My attention is being brought to my throat and also hear the word calcium. So I don't know how those two connect. I have no idea, so do your research, but there's something going on with my thyroid, okay? For some of you, you are on thyroid medication and some of that thyroid medication can have some negative consequences on your calcium okay um so su supplementing something uh, with calcium so again research research and ask a doctor ask a professional i'm not a professional medical professional so this is just being um forwarded to you now i keep seeing the number eight and he says to me, August is a health month for you, or August is a month when you want to or you need to spend considerable amount of energy and time and effort and focus on your health. Finances, yes, but also your health. And he says to me, the two and two go together. Okay, so for some of you, there is some struggles with finances, which is causing your health problems. And I hear the word anxiety. Um, for some of you, your anxiety is preventing you from going to work, so making money. So those two are connected, okay? He says to me to tell you, health first. Health must come first obviously if we have not if we have no health uh, we have nothing right okay I'm just trying to think if there's anything else um, for some of you I feel like you are either allergic or sensitive to oranges and then I hear the word vitamin c so if you have been acquiring vitamin c from oranges he's crossing oranges and i feel like there is sensitivity in your tummy or there is acidity um now lemon juice for example is very acidic but it's actually very alkaline to the body inside i don't know how it works with oranges in particular but there's something about um, either allergic reaction or sensitivity with your tummy uh, with oranges but I feel like you're taking it for vitamin C so maybe if that's you look at taking vitamin C in supplemental form and it's shown to me as a pill or capsule as opposed to oranges so this is very specific message probably for very very few of you uh, and I'm hearing the word tummy so you will understand um, what that means and I also hear the word brittle bones 
brittle, brittle bones, which is osteoporosis. Um, so this is something you have been dealing with. And again, I hear the word calcium and somehow again, it's connected to your thyroid and medication. So please check that out. If you've had any symptoms or if you're feeling funny or if into, and he's saying to me, you already know this, this is not something that I am, uh, that's being said to you as, you know, you don't know and it's new. This is something that you've been either contemplating on, you've heard already, or you're already firmly aware. Or fully aware okay and then he says stop okay so I am going now to flip the little three cards that I have and the first card represents your background or your past and we have to car isn't that interesting it's a card number eight it's um, accelerated motion and when I ask him what this means he says to me life in a fast lane <laughs> Um, and then I hear the word stress. So I feel like this is a message for, uh, for those of you who this is meant for mainly connecting to your health, nothing serious, but it is health related. And he's showing me and saying to me, life in a fast lane, life in a fast lane. And when I ask him to describe what he wants to say about this again he says to me the word stress so for some of you you are used to very busy life very fast paced life which has resulted when in a lot of stress which has consequently resulted in your health challenges or problems and he's nodding his head signifying to me that's the right message okay so i don't want to spend too much time on this because it is in your past i want to move on to what's now and what's upcoming so the third card or the second card represents uh your present time or the you know problem and we have the card called major arcana called temptation and i believe this is the devil in a traditional tarot deck but it is shown to me in reverse Because it's shown to me in reverse, it's actually um, not that cards are bad because they're all they all come with messages and um, you know advice. But because it's shown to me in reverse, I do feel it's um, it's a good card to have, and I want to ask him why. Okay, he's saying to me that you have the recognition of what your lifestyle or how your lifestyle has negatively impacted you and this is both health wise and also mentally and emotionally and also relationship wise okay because there is an awareness i feel like you are starting to contemplate a change of avenue a change of lifestyle or a change of a characteristic that has been with you for quite some time and you're now realizing it is something that is actually not congruent with peace health and harmony okay I also see the sign or the uh, movement for drinking. So for some of you, you are recognizing that perhaps when you were living in a fast lane, there was some drinking or alcohol involved or overconsumption of something that was ultimate, that ultimately isn't too good for us when it's overused. Um, so that's being recognized as well. And all of this notice is connecting to health. But predominantly it's because you're noticing that you um and i see the number 46 for some reason so maybe for some of you this is 46 and i'll be honest with you right now as i'm speaking of this fast lane life i am being drawn more to male this at this time than a female of course both are um could be he says to me male mostly so for gentlemen for those of you or if you're a lady and you know of someone who is like this, maybe you have him uh, listen to this um, message. 
Peace is what's necessary. For some of you, you live with someone who is used to living in fast lane or fast life. And because you're connected to this person, um, it is affecting you as well. And I hear the word worry. So perhaps you're worried about your partner who or significant other who is living life in a fast lane and you are noticing their health, his health, her health uh, being affected. Okay. I'm also being... Um, asked to say have an honest and candid conversation about this because i feel like there needs to be a stop put this into this put there needs to be a stop to this um before it gets any worse and whoever this person is living in a fast lane um i feel like there is a chance of things derailing so Either they're going to get really unhealthy or they're going to get struck with um, severe anxiety where they won't be able to function or depression or something that's going to be a, a lot more than a red flag. Okay. Now, the next card represents advice or future. Hmm. And it's um, chakra card and it's the third eye. And I hear the words, you know what to do. You know what to do. I also hear the word mother. It's almost like I'm hearing my mother saying, if you do this, this is what's going to happen. And I'm hearing that advice in my head. So you will either get an advice from your mother or someone who is like your mother or you will feel a mother influence in your life or mother presence, perhaps someone who's passed or a grandmother uh, who will you will intuitively feel like she's trying to show you and tell you to slow down. I also hear money isn't everything. And again, if we have don't if we don't have health, um, we cannot enjoy life or make money, uh, at least not in a way that's going to be sustainable. Health is being underlined here. August is a health month for you, or it is a month of reconciling your health with your lifestyle and understanding how one is not congruent with the other, meaning lifestyle is not congruent with good health, okay? I also hear you will have some decisions to make, or maybe you're with someone who needs to make some decisions with regards to lifestyle, and these decisions will be based predominantly on one's health. Again, I'm not predicting something bad is going to happen, but there are warning signs and there are things that are already, red flags have already been happening. And I want to say two to three, two to three months or two to three years. Okay. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who's had issues with heart or there's already been heart problems down the road or there is heart complications in the family. Uh, so either you know somebody like this that's close to you or you are the one um, who has that in your background and you're being asked to take this information seriously. This is not predicting that something is going to happen that is going to make you, you know, to go to the other side. Uh, but there are red flags and there are warnings. And I actually got a feeling in my heart that is um, almost like squeeze. Okay, so... Perhaps for some of you, this is what you actually feel, in which case, um, get yourself electrocardiogram, which is just what I heard, or get it checked out, okay? And again, I'm hearing stress, stress and alcohol or drinking. And I hear the words far too much of that. Let me just see if there's anything else. I'm also seeing the word, uh, the sign for money, and I'm hearing money will come, 
and not to be so much worried about money okay and i feel that is it i hope you like it i hope this new format um is um good for you <clears throat> i actually like it it's uh, i like having my messages come mostly from spirit than through cards even though i don't read cards um i hope this made sense and of course if this does make sense to you listen to your other signs or this may simply be not for you um if you would like a private reading of course you have to um have a private session uh in which case i tune in specifically to your energy and um give you information that's purely purely for you i'm um, just going to see if there's anything else um no the word health is being underlined again so i wish you a healthy month of august and i hope this was um beneficial to you i love to hear your comments uh, especially how it relates to you and have uh, a wonderful time in august take it easy and i look forward to seeing you again in september thank you so much